Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will see correlation using tabular method. So, perform cross correlation of the sequences and the sequences are given as x of n is equal to 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 2 and y of n is given as 1 comma 0 0.5 comma 1. We have already seen this example in the last lecture and we have calculated that the result that is rxy of m will contain how many samples? 6 samples. Okay. So, please watch the last lecture first and then come to this. And the initial value of m will be what? mi is equal to what? Minus 2. And the final value, you know, of m, which is denoted as m of f, will be equal to what? 3. So, this we have already calculated in the last lecture. So, now let's go and plot a table and let's see how to do this. So, n I have tabulated the values of n here then take x of n right now tabulate the value of x of n so if you see here so x of n starts from what n is equal to 0 and has 4 samples that is 1 1 2 2 so where is n is equal to 0 here right so here it will start from here so 1 1 2 and 2 done clear now tabulate y of n so y of n also starts from n is equal to 0 and has three samples which is 1 0 0.5 and 1 so 1 0 0.5 and 1 clear up to this okay uh, make a note that the unfilled boxes in the table are considered as 0 okay so this is done now I hope you are aware about this formula. So each sample of Rx, Y of M is given as this, right? You already know this formula and we know different values of M. So based on this values of M, Y of N will be shifted, right? That is why we have different versions of Y of N, different shifted versions in the table. So first, so initially, the value of m initial value is what minus 2 so it will become what y of n minus m it means y of n minus of minus 2 so overall it will be equal to what boss y of n plus 2 we already know y of n is this so y of n plus 2 will be what shift this two units right so it will start from here now so 1 0 0.5 and 1 clear now when you keep the value of m as minus 1 so you will get y of n minus of minus 1 so we already know this will be equal to what then y of n plus 1 clear so if you see this is what y of n plus 1 and we already know this is what y of n plus 2 so n plus 1 means 1 unit right shift so 1 0 0.5 and 1 it will start like this right now y of n again from this one unit right shift so 1 0 0.5 and 1 right y of n minus 1 so again one unit right shift so it will start from here now so 1 0 0.5 and 1 okay so y of n minus 2 again one unit right shift right so 1 0 0.5 and 1 and again y of n minus 3 so again 1 unit right shift so 1 0 0.5 and 1 so okay and the final value of m was what 3 so we reached up to 3 m is equal to 3 so you can stop here so this table is ready all right I hope it is clear to you. So, the table is ready. Now, let's calculate the values. So, see, when m is equal to minus 2. So, when m is equal to minus 2, what is required here? So, if you see here, summation of, oh, summation of what was? So, if it is, it is defined only for n is equal to minus 2 to 3, right? So, y, 
x of n into y of n minus m. So if you see here, wait, let me show you. So x of n into y of n minus of minus 2. Okay, now go in the table. Look where this is present and where this is present. Fine, let's go to the table. So I am at table level, so x of n. If you see at x of n, so it is present here. And y of n minus of minus 2 is present here. Okay, why I change the summation limit? If you see here, this is from minus 2 and x of n is going till 3. So I took minus 2 to 3. Now you understood in the summation here. This I changed, right? That is why I changed. And I am going to do the same for rest of the cases also. So don't get confused. Okay, so fine. Now see the common points. So for this and this. So the common instance is only at n is equal to 0. So multiply this with this. So 1 into 1 is 1. And other instances, there is no common values, right? So you can write overall, this will give you what? 1. 1 box. You will get 1. Clear? Fine. Now let's go for the next when m is equal to minus 1. So in this case, you need x of n and y of n plus 1. Now go again to the table and see this is x of n and this is what? y of n plus 1. Right, this one. Now, if you if you notice the summation, I have started from minus 1 to 3. That is why. Because it is defined from this minus 1. Okay. So, lower limit I took it as minus 1. So, see the common point here, boss. If you see the common point, so at n is equal to 0 and at n is equal to 1 also, we got the value for this 2. So, 1 into 1, 1 plus 1 into 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 plus 1 that is what 1.5 so here you will get what 1.5 1.5 clear this is what you have to do simple right and we did this earlier also many times this tabular approach okay fine now let's go for the next so now when m is equal to 0. So what is required? x of n and y of n is required. So come boss, let's see this particular case. So x of n and y of n. Or you can uh, do this here itself, okay? No need to go here. It will be easy. So common instance is what? 1, 2 and 3. So 1 into 1, 1 plus 1 into 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So 1 plus 0 0.5 plus 2 into 1, 2. So overall it will be what 3.5 am i right so you will get value here what 3.5 3.5 clear now next when m is equal to 1 so x of n into y of n minus 1 so you already know about this also so come again here and see where it is so we are at y of n minus 1 right and x of n this two so see the common instance boss this one this one and this one this three common instance i can see at n is equal to 1 2 and 3 right so 1 into 1 1 plus 2 into 0 0.5 is again 1 so 1 plus 1 and then 2 into 1 plus 2 so 1 plus 1 plus 2 is what 4 right so here you will get what 4 clear now next is what when m is equal to 2 so when m is equal to 2 what is required x of n into y of n minus 2 and then summation so if you go here y of n minus 2 is here x of n is here right see the common common is what at n is equal to 2 and 3 right so 2 into 1 is 2 plus 2 into 0 0.5 is what 1. So 2 plus 1 is what 3. So you got here this will be equal to what 3. Clear boss. Now when m is equal to 3. So when m is equal to 3 x of n and y of n minus 3. 
so do the same you will get only one common point see here only one that is at n is equal to 3 so 2 into 1 is what 2 so here you will get 2 okay so overall correlation sequence so basically uh, better to say cross correlation sequence cross correlation sequence rx y of m this will be equal to what we got 1 then we got 1.5 then we got 3.5 at m is equal to 0 so arrow here then 4 then 3 then we got 2 this is how you have to do you know correlation using tabular method and we already know about tabular method it's a common approach right everywhere the same concept you have to apply so if you still have any doubt in this correlation using tabular method you can ask in the comment section okay thanks for watching